feet and are honest and loyal. I'm sure they are somewhere <laughs> in the world. Very rare, though. Very somewhere. rare. The more men, the more uh, money and status a man has, the less likely he is to be loyal to you. That's the reality. Hmm. Men are only as loyal as their options most of the time. Last one here. Why do people cheat? Because they're horny. Want new pussy. One Why, girl, Why one do you want new pussy? Uh, because, okay, you want new experiences, right? <laughs> We're tired of yours. <laughs> well, you're never going to try it. In general. <laughs> yeah God so damn. well the reason why is because uh, men want variety like women like to explore new things and new experiences men kind of look at the same way but it's with women men want new more, more that uh, men want variety of women that's just how it is women want a variety of emotions with one man men want a variety of sexual po options with women that's just how it is so you're not loyal no that's stupid well i disagree because i've seen a lot of relationships where like they were like, I don't know. The the couple like really loves each other. So I would challenge that notion. That doesn't change. That doesn't change. I, the I fact think that that's your experience, though. Like your your experience. Like I, I I honestly think like that doesn't speak for every single man in the billion out of the I billions. I never said all. I said well, a majority. Okay, then. And a ma majority, and, and, but and, and, you still can't prove that though. We can't prove the majority out of the billion of people in the world. That every guy wants a different girl. Like I, I just disagree with that notion. You disagree with the reality and That's biology. That's your reality. <laughs> I, I think it's Can American you? Okay, culture. Hold on. Your hold on. reality. Look, though. look, 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 look. <laughs> this is what I mean when I say that. So, so, so women are solipsistic in nature and don't understand another <laughs> perspective. Um, men and women are biologically different. Okay, that's an irrefutable fact. Men can bust nuts to the day we die, and we can bring thousands of kids to term. Right, because. Men have a less of a um, parental investment in the biological process of child creation than women do. So women have to be way more invested in the birth process because you guys carry the child. So this is why women are way more picky than men are. Right? A couple of you said on during the podcast that you're very selective. Men aren't as selective as women are. So men have a higher proclivity to want to have more partners. Now, with that said, some guys don't have the sexual market value or the status or the ability to get multiple women. So they'll sit there and say, I'm monogamous. But the reality <laughs> is most men are monogamous by force, not through choice. If you give an average guy a couple million dollars in a Lamborghini, he's probably going to be fucking bitches tomorrow. That's the reality. Now, are there some guys out there that are super religious and going to be monogamous? Of course. But that's a minority of men. The majority of men have given the option to cheat without being, t uh, you know, losing their girlfriend or losing uh, their family or whatever. We'll do it. It's just that they don't they might not do it but most men want multiple women this is a biological fact this isn't my opinion or what i think or my reality it is reality but okay i understand what you're saying like mm -hmm. i understand all of that but yeah. like i don't know i just think that you don't know right? it's not true for so you don't know like why I, you just think it because i i do know i do know okay so why is but that i i myself think that there are people out there that do want to find the love of their life. Like men? Men, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, are, you, are you aware of the fact that men can have the love of their life and still want to have sex well, with other women? Well, I just don't... Maybe, maybe, I'm, uh, maybe I'm delusional. Okay, please maybe, answer the question. I would like, hold on, like, hold on. That, For two seconds. Are you aware of the fact that a man can easily love a woman but want to have sex with other girls? I'm aware of that, but okay. so can women. Two, <laughs> not really. Well, not really, because when a girl's with a guy, and you even admit it yourself, that women are, you know, are from uh, way emotional. more emotional. Like with right, a woman, if she's with a man that she truly loves and admires and respects, she's not gonna look at other men a lot of the times. Like other men are invisible to her, but for us, we could be with the love of our life. We're still gonna want other girls, even and if we got the chance to have sex with that girl without getting in trouble, in trouble for it, we'll take it. Even yourself, you mentioned I the mean, guy made you question yourself because he's right, doing but actions, he wasn't but be the love but, of on, but before that you didn't do anything <laughs> why is that well first off i wasn't really like seeing him as someone i i foresaw myself being with forever understandable like, so i guess that's why maybe. but imagine if you really loved them you, it would be even further where you would do it wouldn't do anything with anybody else right no i no if i was with the partner of my life what's your no. argument here so I just don't agree that like I I think it's like just kind of you don't agree that the sky's blue. Then. What are you saying, bro? You don't agree. You don't agree that the sky's so, blue. So like, but can I ask you? So you think like every guy, regardless, he's with the love of his life. I never said every. Okay, well, majority, majority, majority. Yeah. 
you you are stating that majority of men although they're married they're married to the love of their life they have the opportunity to cheat they're going to cheat on her like, yes if they were able to cheat without being caught and lose their money their family etc and there wouldn't be any ne negative ramifications they probably would do it like for example if their wife was like you know what that girl wants to sleep with you you know what i don't care baby go ahead here's a free pass they would take it here's a, will you take it here's a uh tip huh? for you huh will you take it me yeah no women don't dictate shit about how i do things are you in a relationship yes and I do what the fuck I want to do. I didn't bust my ass and make all this money so I could fuck one girl. That's stupid. And oh, that's okay. how a lot of men that make money think. Like, that's the reality. Like, men don't go out there and become successful and everything else like that to have a woman dictate how the fuck they're going to, you know, live their life. The mm -hmm. thing that made me attractive in the first place because I live my life on my terms. I'm not going to give that up because I get a girl. And she's fiercely loyal to me, right? Obviously, because that's a woman's job is to be loyal to a man sexually. And I'm loyal to her where she's the only girl I care about from that perspective. Men and women love differently and we provide loyalty in different ways. And men don't provide loyalty through sexual fidelity. That's your job. That's a woman's job is to provide sexu uh, sexual fidelity. Men provide love uh, loyalty where I give a shit about you. I will protect and fight for you. Right? I'll lay my life on the line to, for you. That's how men show loyalty. But women tend to conflate the two and think that we're the same and we provide loyalty the same. No, because men and women are different. We bring different things to the table, which includes the utility that we bring to the table. Your job as a female is to not be a whore and embarrass me. And my job as a man is to provide for you, take care of you, and fight and protect you and die if I need to to keep you alive. That's more important. What's better? I think most women will prefer a guy that will sit there and fight for them and die in the process than some pussy that will sit there, I'll never cheat on you, but won't protect her in times of peril. But I think so, like, also, too, okay, imagine, like, just imagine, like, there's this guy, he makes money, he's hot, he's married, and he's really, like, loves his wife, right? Like, mm -hmm. so he is he, like, then you're saying he's, like, basically a pussy if he won't cheat on, like, act on his desires to cheat on her. Like, I didn't say that. What I am so, saying is that if I put him in a room with his wife and I said, yo... Your wife is not going to, you know, you can go ahead and have sex with another girl. She's not going to care. She's actually okay with it. They'll take that opportunity. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Also, you're not seeing the guys that are married. They jerk off. They go to, to strip clubs. They sign up for OnlyFans because they want other girls. But to protect their marriage, they don't want to do it in plain sight. So the thing is, like, you're not seeing the behind the scenes that most men do to have that, like, aversion to mm -hmm. their girlfriend or wife. Yeah, men want variety. It's just, it is what it is. It's yeah. just that, like I said, most guys are monogamous by force, not because they want to be. It's because their girl will leave them or they don't have the ability to get another girl. But if they could, they would. This is why pornography, right, a lot of times is consumed by married men. Strip clubs are frequented by married men. <laughs> guys get sugar Hooters, babies, hooters, all that shit. Yeah, men want variety. <laughs> you know, women don't have the same thirst for male sexuality. That's why male strip clubs aren't a thing. There's yeah. no fucking restaurants that I could think of where guys wear nothing and serve women. Yeah. Women don't give a fuck about that. Women, I'll tell you this. women don't need this. Women don't have the same sexual urge that men do. Women want promiscuity. They want to be sexual with just one guy. Men want to be sexual with as many women as possible. I'll tell you this. You know why they're hooters? Not for the wings. All right. Because the food sucks. <laughs> but what else? Were you gonna say something else? I don't know if you. No, I'm. I'm good. I. I just. I just wanted to confirm. God, yeah, I, was I mean, on the right look, track. I, I get it. That <laughs> I get it that it's it's difficult to hear, but that's what it is. is I mean, that, I don't. I still don't. I still like believe what you believe. Believe what I believe. Well, you're wrong. Well, then you know what? That's that's cool. You don't always have to be right in life. You should. Know. <laughs> you should for your own sake. So I'm telling you, the sky is blue, and okay. you're arguing with me and saying it's purple, but and you're going to believe that it's not, purple. That's a tangible scientific fact. You can't. You can't like prove really what you're saying i understand what you're saying and like you could be right but you can't really i am right prove it i i am right <laughs> hey, hold on what is more right how you feel or facts and data behind what he's saying what's more right well logically do you have the, the data? data do you have it? yes it's online okay it's, it's, it's so like okay so you're saying how i feel my personal opinion versus facts what's more relevant what's more important I think for your world, like your my world, your for your own like life, we're in right? the same world, right? I understand that, <laughs> but like your, I'm okay. What I meant by world was like your own like life experience, right? I think it only matters what you. No, forget my experience. What is actually the facts behind all of our lives? What's actually there in front of us? Right. I mean, I understand that. I'm just saying, why can't? 
it be your way? People just be okay, like look, where they want to be. Look, look. Sometimes we got to tell people that they're low <laughs> IQ. You're making low IQ statements right now, okay? Room temperature IQ type statements. If I'm telling you that a male's biology is designed for them to have sex with as many women as possible, which is why we can get a boner quickly, we get aroused very quickly, we can bust a nut quickly. Men typically want to have sex with as many women as possible. That's why when you see men that are celebrities or men that have status, etc., they almost always have affairs with other women. I mean... There's a trend here. You know, men are only as faithful as their options most of the time. Hell, your own relationship proved this. He was picking up a bitch on Halloween. Why was yeah, he doing that? Yeah, I didn't care, though. But that's not my, my point. Care. Like, that's not like my that husband to do. picking up a bitch on Halloween. Like, it illustrates my I just, point. So, all right, be quiet. Be okay, quiet, be okay, quiet. I'll be seconds. quiet. I'm a woman, right? The point I made my, earlier was that, that it? <laughs> in your own relationship, the guy wanted other women. That's why you left him. That yep. proves my point. Right, but I wasn't married. Like, marriage is a sacred, like, important thing. And, like, what you're saying There's is divorce. like, oh, it's okay for men to just go cheat on their I wives. I didn't say it's like, okay. I didn't say it's okay. I have a problem with that. I didn't say it's okay. I said going, most like, men. I didn't say it's okay. You're, see, this is so the thing. So, I think you're that's hearing, actually low IQ to get married. But I'm going to go cheat on you. Be quiet. Shut up for two okay. seconds. Because you, you didn't have any answers uh, earlier. But all of a sudden, you got fucking see answers. see why you're single, man. Okay? Good. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you that men and women are very different from a biological standpoint. This is a fact. Okay? Men want to have sex with as many women as possible. Women typically want to get the best guy possible. It is what it is. I'm saying they're more likely to, to cheat than men want to cheat a lot of the times. They might not do it for personal reasons, religious reasons, but that doesn't change that they still want to do it. Now you're saying, well, I have a problem in a relationship, blah, 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 or a marriage. That doesn't really change anything because they're still going to want other women. It just whatever, comes down man. to what they're able to do. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you I mean, just whatever? said whatever. Like, you, like obviously, it's not going to go anywhere. I'm, I am I have a low IQ, apparently. You do. Because Good. I'm telling you that like, men and women are different biologically. I have a low IQ biologically. because I believe like getting married means you're going to be faithful to that person. That's so that's cool. low IQ. No, no, no. Apparently. That's fine. But what I'm telling you <laughs> is that men still want other women. You're saying you're making a moral right. argument. I, I'm giving you I a very, that, I'm giving like, you a biological argument. Okay, I, I, I never said it was that. right because you're hearing what you want to hear, and I'm just telling you this is how men think, and this is what they are. You're saying, well, it's wrong to cheat in marriage. You're right about that. It is wrong to cheat in marriage. I never said it's right, but you're hearing okay. what you want to hear. Okay, that's not true because you did say like that you would cheat in if you were married. So. No, she said. Just, she said, "Are you loyal in your relationship?" I said, "I don't. I have multiple. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to be monogamous in my relationship." So I don't. And then I'm honest with my girl. I told yeah. her up front, "I'm not going to be monogamous." Yeah. To you. And she okay, then, so it's then, not cheating. If, then that's I, your I business. So see, your see business. how you're hearing but, what you want to hear. You're not really I, paying attention. I disagree that I was hearing what I wanted to hear because you, you did. You just assumed I was married. <laughs> I didn't assume that. I yes, you, you did. said if you were. I you said if you were I, I, married. Well, I didn't even say that because she asked if I was in a relationship. I said no. I said yes, but I'm not monogamous. She said, "Are you loyal in your relationship?" But I'm not married. What's your name? Because your whole okay. argument is based on marriage right now. What's your name again? Kayla. I don't know Kayla. I know that. Okay, I understand what you're saying. I get it. The thing that I was like. Bro, Kayla, grab the umbrella, man. It was just like, if you're married. I know you're not married, but like, if you. Because the problem is that you're listening with your feelings, you're and you're not listening with your ears. You're assuming things, and you're just making ridiculous. Well, I don't. I think this, and I think that. What you think and how the world really works are two different things. Men want other women. It is what it is. And your own relationship proves that point, which is what I'm trying to illustrate that. Men, a lot of the times, are not naturally wired to be monogamous uh, at all. And they don't want to be. Kayla, can you make eye contact with Myron, please? There you go. Why, why? Bro, I don't give a fuck if she makes eye contact. Uh, no, 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 no. It's funny, bro. But she's, uh, she's she triggered. knows she's triggered right now. Yeah, but it's like, it, but here's the thing: you didn't have answers throughout the whole pod. Now you want to argue with me about morality and shit. It's like, no, facts are facts. Like, men are not monogamous by nature. Men want as many women as possible. The only thing that holds men a lot of times from having as many women as possible is their financial status, their attractiveness, their ability to have game and charisma, etc. But if you leave a man to his own devices, they're going to have multiple women. That's how it goes. You know, whether you agree with that is irrelevant. The, the facts are the facts. At least he's being honest, though. And I didn't say all men. I said um, I said um, I said a majority. Mm -hmm. So are there men out there that will be faithful in your dream world? Of course. But they're far and few between. And a lot of times you're not going to want them anyway because they're probably ugly and fat. That's why they're fucking monogamous. Ta-da! Or weird. You can also look at nature like animals. Like, women are meant to be, like, loved and, like, like have a kid. And then the, like, male 
male like look at lions the right. male lion is going to have sex with many to like make a bigger population mm -hmm. that's just how it is we have something in our body that makes us like l more love because we are a baby machine to make the population bigger this is that, that is just facts i hate to hear this myself but this is just facts but you can still like because everything he was saying like it's true but the yeah. truth hurts and like what she's saying like I get, I, I, I get, I get you, I get you, you know. Mm -hmm. But like, all of my friends think like this. All of my friends, and I like, um, from my past relationship, everything he's saying. That's what I learned from my past relationship. Mm -hmm. I never expect anything from a man because I mm -hmm. know they're never gonna be faithful. I just know, and that's that's when they be unfaithful. Right. When they be unfaithful, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, okay, and it doesn't hurt me because like, you know, it's raining. What do you have? An umbrella. It rains on you. No umbrella. Because she's preparing for the worst. You're not. You're assuming the best. Well, like, I don't understand why the notion of, like, negativity is pushed so hard. I think that's, like, it's why not. it's it's just, like, depressing. It's me. life. But it's true, though. But that's not true. There's a lot of beautiful things and people that happen in life. And why why not think positively for once? Like, no, no. You can think positive, but there's reality and truth. And if it's raining outside, you walk outside with an umbrella, you're going to get wet. Whatever. What's negative about men wanting to be promiscuous? Like I don't get. Like that's just a that's just a biological reality. So just yeah. you know what? Fuck it. Uh, husbands can cheat. I never said um, they can. I just said they have a it's higher all proclivity great. too. That's that's wonderful. Great. <laughs> See, you know, only females get the privilege of being uh, mor morons like this. No offense. Like, you, you, see, the thing with men is that we have to live in reality, right? If we're fat, losers, stupid, we immediately get negative ramifications for being idiots. Women, you can kind of go through life and say, I don't know to every answer and not really know how the world I works did answer and a have lot an of idealistic uh, viewpoint on things and be fine. Make it 31 years old, relatively, you know, naive and be like, oh, God, life is great. Like, for men, we have to accept reality. Most women don't like short guys. Most women don't like brokies. Most women don't like fat losers. Women don't want dorks. Hey, we have to either rise up and be attractive and get the women or not. Yeah. You on the other hand, well, guys don't cheat, right? I'm going to find my ideal knight in shining armor that's going to be great to me and make $100,000 plus a year, be six foot three, good looking, live in New York City and be a monogamous teammate. No, it's not real. And your own experiences have been validated what I've told you. Yeah. Men want other women. Period. You even said to yourself, I couldn't trust him. Well, get ready to not trust a bunch of motherfuckers. That is true. I'm telling you how men really think, and you want to sit here and argue with me, and your own experiences validate what I'm telling you. He's doing you a favor, by the I'm way. I'm doing you a favor telling you the truth. You're 31 years old. You ain't got much more time. Yep. Tick -tock. So you can accept oh, okay. the reality. Yeah, yeah. But being Telulo is the right, Telulo. Right. I mean, living, think, living in a delusional right. world <laughs> makes you feel better. But, okay. All right. You are. Okay. You're 31 and still single. You're yeah. delusional. Yeah. You are delusional. Clearly, it has a, your viewpoint of how the world works has not worked. Has not worked. Yeah. It, it hasn't. You know, and time is ticking. Thirty-one years old. You're ten years past your prime. That's the reality. Yep. Tick tock. You know what I mean? And you still don't got a guy. It's like you might want to change what you're doing. The insanity. The definition of insanity is doing the same shit over again, expecting a different result. I'm telling you, men operate this way. If you don't like it, then cool. Then stay single. It's gonna be very difficult for you to find a guy. But yeah. Anyway. And if you don't like it, you can leave. You're more than welcome to leave at any time. That is true. But if you want to sit here and sulk and cry and be no, a weirdo and shit.